Hello everybody. I don't know what happened. The connection was lost apparently. The life ended. But here I am back. There will just be two parts to this. So I hope you're gonna all come back online. I'm just gonna invite you all back again. That was really weird. I mean, I didn't even touch the computer. It's just over. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Let's just hope that doesn't happen again. Kathleen, you're here. <laughs> Great. I don't know what that was. Okay. Um, so I was just saying that it, it feels easy right now, you know, when he's far away to uh, be calm and not feel angry. But, you know, that, that part of me that says, wait a minute, like, I've been raising our child alone for the best part of two years. I've struggled so much because I had next to no support from you, neither financially nor practical help. And, you know, now you pretend that I'm not able to raise our child and you want to do it instead? Like, really? <laughs> you know, that's madness. You know, I mean, Jesus, how much time and money this is costing me and energy. And, of course, my son feels all of this he wakes up he has nightmares about me going away him being taken from me you know although I try to keep this as far away as possible from him but of course he feels it so there is obviously this part inside of me and I really don't want it to be its head when I'm in front of the judge and get triggered you know into defensiveness and accusations I don't want that I want to be able to stay in my truth and that's why I have created a love and compassion practice for myself and I will started today and continue every day until the hearing and i wanted to share it with you first of all because i think that you know we all have conflicts with others so this might be something that's really helpful to you and um and secondly i wanted to share it so that you can all hold me accountable because that's not an easy thing to do and now that i told you that i will do it there's a much greater chance that i actually will and you know i actually saw my ex today for the first time since all of these accusations have happened and it was not easy you know, he just came to see our son and my, my heart was racing and I felt slightly sick and I couldn't even say hello to him. There was not one word I could actually speak to him. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to starting this practice today because I feel that I need it. And I have, of course, experimented with it, so I know it's working. But I really want to, like, really start the practice together with you today. And I, yeah, we'll just <laughs> send him love, you know. And I really look forward to that. To that. It's, it's what I need. Good. So before we start the practice, are there any questions so far? But if there is no question, then get comfortable in a sitting position or lie down on your back and close your eyes. And connect to your breathing. Take deep and slow breaths in and out. Feel into the sensation of the air filling your lungs. And then flowing out of your body again. And then connect to your body. Let all the tension go from your shoulders. And relax your arms. 
and hands. Relax your legs and feet. Soften your belly. Soften your brow. And let all the tension go from the tiny muscles around your eyes. Relax your jaw and mouth. And now I want you to feel into your head, to your mind. And to feel into how much of your essence, of your presence, is gathered in your headspace. It's like you are looking out into the world through your eyes. And what we want to do now is just breathe ourselves downwards into our heart space. And with every breath you take out, you feel that part of your essence is effortlessly flowing downwards into your heart. Breathe out and flow downwards. And as you feel more and more present in your heart space, feel the love and compassion that you have for yourself glow in your heart as you breathe in. Every breath you take in, you feel how your love for yourself glows in your heart space. Every breath you take in, you feel compassion for yourself growing strong within you. With every breath you take in, say to yourself, I am always doing the best I can. I always have a good intention for what I do. I forgive myself. I trust myself. I love myself. And then feel that there is no end to this love and compassion. It's overflowing. And as you breathe out, let it flow towards that person that you are in a difficult situation with. Just feel that you are coming from a place beyond right and wrong. You're coming from the eternal peace and bliss that is 
untouched by the happenings of the world. You're coming from pure consciousness and it is so easy to let this love and compassion flow from you and send it to somebody who needs it, even if that person wishes you ill. Nobody can fight love. So whatever somebody throws at us, we just send back love. Breathe in and feel the love you have for yourself and for all of life. Grow brightly in your heart space and feel it flowing out of you as you breathe out. And as we slowly end this practice, have the intention that part of your awareness will stay here in your heart space. And then become aware of your surroundings once more. And gently open your eyes. And then let me know how you're feeling right now in the comments. Emily, you're here. That's so cool. You say you need this right now. Yeah, I think the whole world needs more of this. Hmm. So please share with me. Nobody wants to share right now? Kathleen, you're sending a heart. That's good. And Blue, you're saying beautiful practice. I also need it at the moment. You're so welcome. That's great. Hmm. Amazing. Good. If you're on the replay, please do comment. I really want to know. And so the hearing that I am going to attend is on the 14th of November. That's 17 days away. And I'm starting my compassion practice right now before going to bed. And I would love for as many of you to join me. What do you think? Can we make the world a little brighter by sending out some love? Let me know in the comments if you're up for that. Kathleen, you're saying powerful. You mean the practice is powerful or you feel powerful? Good, so I'm hoping that as many of you as possible will join me for this practice. And I will post into our group daily to let you know about my own process and I would love for you to do that as well. And just write underneath the post um, or start your own post or just post it here underneath this video that you can listen to as you do the practice. And yeah, and on Tuesday, I will share the confidence practice that I have created for myself because I feel that that's another important puzzle when I face a judge that I need to feel confident in being me. And I know that many of you are struggling with confidence. So I really look forward to supporting you in that way. And yeah, I hope to see many of you live on Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. CEST. And it will be an asana practice. So do bring your yoga mat to that one. 
So I'm going to read your comments. I will practice with you, Kathleen. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much. Oh, and Blue, you're saying you have a meeting with a solicitor on the 16th. Oh, God. So you're really up for it. That's great. Well, I'm happy that at least we're not going through this alone. And I'm really sorry for you that you are facing the same thing. And Kathleen, you're saying you will do this practice with your mother. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> you're, I'm spoiling you. Yes, I'm spoiling you. And I love doing that. <laughs> So hi, Cynthia, thank you for joining us. This is just over actually. So please watch the replay and make sure to comment so I can um, connect to you in the comments. Emily, you're saying you're, mark, you're gonna mark your calendar. Thank you so much. I love you all and thank you so much for being here and I will talk to you very soon. Mwah. Lots of love, bye-bye.